What's up, everybody? I'm Sly, the movie guy, and here's my movie review of The Irishman, directed by Martin Scorsese. The film stars Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, Joe Pesci, Ray Romano, and the rest of the other cast and crew. And in this film, in the 1950s, truck driver Frank Sharon gets involved with Russell Baffolino and his Pennsylvania crime family. As Sharon climbs the ranks to become a top hitman, he also goes to work for Jimmy Hoffa, a powerful teamster tied to organized crime. I didn't get a chance to see this movie in theaters, but when I heard that it was going to be on Netflix, I was happy about it. I mean, I could sit home, watch it, and t take breaks and stuff, have my popcorn and drink, pause it anytime I need to for breaks, and don't have to worry about going driving to the movie theater and making it on time. It was perfect. I was very happy about that. Plus, I was happy that because Martin Scorsese is directing this film, and I'm a big fan fan of Martin Scorsese. He's one of my favorite directors. I mean, if I was ranked directors, he'd be in my top five films that he directed, like Wolf of Wall Street, Taxi Driver, Goodfellas, Silence, other films. It's just this man, he just knows how to direct a film. I mean, everything, it's like, like artwork. You can see his direction, the film, what he's going for, and it just, everything about it, he just, he, he I've yet to see like a a miss out of his director. He just it, in a misstep and stuff. The hiccups. I've yet to see that. He he always no he always knocks out the park, hits every time. And I just like, man, how did this man do it? And he's if I'm not mistaken, I think he's around like seventy something years old, seventy seven, I don't know, but he it's just his man just knows how to direct a film, the crafting and all that. Man, how I like how did he do it? And he he continues doing it and I Happy to say that The Irishman is a fantastic film. Man, woo! One of my, I easily say, one of my favorite films of 2019. And the positives right out the gates. Mark Scorsese, fantastic directing this film. He does a freaking phenomenal job, man. Once again, like I said, Scorsese, just, how did he do it? It just, something about it, it just, he keeps continuing on this great ride, man. It's just fantastic. This film is just well directed, and that's just the positives I can say about that for all uh, for this movie directing. Two thumbs up for Mark Scorsese directing this film. More the positive, man. The, the thing I like about the story, man, and I'm not gonna get any spoilers. One one of our main characters just like narrates the story and stuff, talks about the crime and stuff, what happened and stuff like that. It's just investing because as like as the narration is. Is where our characters talk and stuff. We see the scenes and stuff where the characters are like sitting out talking and the crime stuff related stuff. And as the movie goes on, there's stuff that happens there and stuff that you see and makes you surprised. You didn't know it was going to happen and stuff. It is investing and stuff when seeing all that. And I was just happy to see that. And we get to understand the character's motivation as the story goes along. We get to understand what they're trying to achieve and stuff. And some of that, and, and it's not, and, it's, and the crime stuff is is not good. So you're kind of like saying, I can understand what this character is going for, but it's bad. So it's like, it's crooked stuff. So you're kind of like, what? You're kind of like, huh? Because you can understand what these characters are going for and stuff when it comes to like Joe Pesci, Al Pacino, and Robert De Niro's character. You can see that. And I really was invested with the story from beginning to end, and I really loved it. And his story is very, and it's, and it's very, and it's very, and it's, and it takes its time too. That's all I got to say. And it's a three hour runtime, but each scene you get to soak in every moment of it. And I was like soaked in of it. And some of it can be a drag at times, but I was absolutely soaked into like each moment when the characters was on screen and stuff. What's going on, like the dialogue, and the dialogue is absolutely fantastic in this film. I have to say, man, the dialogue is. It feels realistic, like you're you're in this like this crime related world. You like you're you're in this world, like you're like you're into it. Like as I watched the movie, it's like I was in like one of those scenes where these characters are talking and stuff, what they trying to do and stuff when it comes to like the business and stuff like that. And I was absolutely like was happy from beginning to end with this movie. Man, they did they the the writing is absolutely fantastic. I've got to say that the, the whoever was the screenwriter. Two thumbs up. Got the person who who screenplayed this film. But they did a fantastic job, and I say the writing is absolutely fantastic. Let me get on to the acting. Robert De Niro 
It's absolutely fantastic in this film. I gotta say, man, Rob Dino is like one of my favorite actors. That goes for uh, Joe Pesci in there, while I mentioned too, Joe Pesci and Al Pacino. Robert De Niro, I'm just happy to see him because the fil films he done like Dirty Grandpa, which that was not a good film at all. But here, man, he just absolutely fantastic. And I forgot he was in the Joker movie. He did good in that. And here he does fantastic. I mean, his character, I liked how like it, the way he character, he really fits into Frank Sharon in his film. And I really was invested. It almost like... He can just transform in any movie and stuff. When Robert De Niro just transformed to a character in a film, he just does freaking phenomenal. And I was invested with his character in the beginning of the film and stuff. And he kind of scary in the film a little bit, Robert De Niro's character. And then I didn't know what his character was going to do in this film. And that was kind of like scary a little bit. And so I mean, you can see because he had like a family and stuff. And so in this film, he had like a talk with his like his daughter and stuff in the film. And I really was like invested in that part of the film. And I thought that was absolutely done well. Executed properly well. Joe Pesci. For a while. Because I remember this guy from Home Alone. He. And he. And that. That's the only time I like. Like remember when I was young. Watching Joe Pesci. Because of Home Alone stuff. And I was like. And I liked this actor. When I was. When I was young and stuff. I was like. Who's that guy? Because I didn't know his name. But. That, since. As I got older. And seen him in like. Ranging Bull. And other films. Lethal Weapon. Joe Pesci is just awesome, and he was just absolutely fantastic in this film, too. Man, his character, he, his character, you just didn't know what he was going to do in this film. And his character was just like, I just like was just invested with his character. Because you can understand, like, like the dialogue and stuff he was saying in this film, he does great. Al Pacino, absolutely. Scarface, Godfather. And when he yells in his film and stuff, it's not like that when he when the Al Pacino, like the yelling and stuff in here, it's like the overtop acting part. He does it 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 fit in this movie. And Al Pacino is just fantastic. His line delivery is just absolutely just spot on. Al Pacino just he's one of the actors, I think, when he when his deli his line delivery and pivotal moments, he just he just knocks out the part. And I absolutely love Al Pacino's movie, man. As like the head leader of the te the teamster thing, he is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, remember, if if you haven't seen Scarface, he was absolutely phenomenal. Now, say hello to my little friend. He is absolutely fantastic. I, Al Pacino, every scene he's in in this movie, I just, I just, I just, I just, I just wanted more and more. I just loved it, man. Al Pacino, two thumbs up. That that just. Hey, he just one of my favorite characters. I, I, besides, like, Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci, I love those two characters. But Al Pacino was just, like, one of those characters I just freaking loved in this movie. Let me talk about the biggest positives in this film that I really love. The makeup. The, the de-aging makeup and stuff. The de-aging thing. Not the makeup, excuse me. The de-aging thing in this movie. This is just, when we see young Joe Pesci and young um, Robert De Niro and Al Pacino and stuff... And stuff like that. The de aging, it is absolutely, it was unnoticeable. I, it, it Hollywood now using it so much in films that we have seen, but here, it, it was. I didn't know they. It, the, and you watch the film, you're like, how did they do that? And it did. It didn't look. It didn't look fake at all. It looked real. Like, like the story as like like going like from like in the past and stuff like that from like the young characters to old and stuff. It looked really good. I was amazed as I was watching it. I was like, "How do they do that? This is amazing. This is, and I and, I, and it felt like a real life, like a real life event." Excuse my throat. I just can't believe how they did that. It's just like as I was watching the film, it was just very. It was unnoticeable. I was like, I was just watching it. Like I just didn't notice it. But now, like as, after, I, after I was done watching it, I was thinking, I'm like, how did they do that? So that is just an automatic 10 out of 10 for in this film. That alone, that is just great. Cinematography and the time set in 1950s, it looks absolutely amazing. The, 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 the clothes, the costumes, everything, all that is great. If I was to pick out the flaws out of this film, I'll say some of the scenes kind of like dragged a little bit not like a bad drag but some scenes kind of dragged a little bit where I was like so like invested 
watching the movie, I was like, oh, I want to get to the next scene. Like, some scenes like, kind of like, uh, I want to get the next scene. But there were best of scenes that just seems like I want, I was like, like, wanting to see, like, the surprises so quick. So I was like, eh, I'm going to get there. And some scenes, like, just like I said, it was like, kind of a little, like, draggy at some parts. Then another flaw, like, I think one of the characters, like, one of the characters that had, like, a found stuff, I want to see, like, one of the, like, one of the, the, the children and stuff that had, like, their relationship, like, build up a little bit, fleshed out. I would love to see, I want to see that. And that was, like, one of them I wanted to see, like, just fleshed out. I think they could, like, could have got screen time, because I was like, uh, I want to see more of that, see where that goes. I, that would have been a little bit, like, investing. And that's one of the flaws I have with this movie. Overall, this is a fantastic film from start to finish. I think the flaws that I mentioned, I think I'm going to end up overlooking those flaws. I won't even like think about it as the more I watch this film. Because this film is fantastic, well-directed, cinematography, the aging, costumes set in 1950s, everything, the acting, the dialogue, everything is great about this movie. Well-written, man, everything about this movie is great. I mean, I, as more time I watch it, this movie... To me, it gets better and it will get better and better the more times I watch it. This is absolutely freaking amazing. Fantastic film. Man, everything about it, everything I say I said is great. Man, Scorsese, two thumbs up. I say, please, get a chance to watch this. Watch this on Netflix if you have it. Please, get a chance. Find another time to watch this film. It is worth the watch. Man, it's absolutely amazing. Like I said... Find time to watch this film, please. And as of right now, in my book, The Irishman gets an A+. Woo! <sighs> wow. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about The Irishman. Do you like it or not? Let me know. And let me know, where's your favorite Martin Scorsese film? If, for me, man, dang, I want it. Ooh. Wolf Wall Street, Silence, Good film. I'm gonna say Goodfellas. I love Goodfellas. I think that's I I say that's my favorite Martin Scorsese film. I love the other film, but I think Goodfellas would be my number one favorite Martin Scorsese film. And that's pretty much it. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, click thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe and the bell button. That's why I can see you next time on Slide the Movie Guy. Peace.